Greetings, my fellow man and one man. Today, I wanted to come to you and speak to you about something that I just uh, went over with my audience over on Facebook. And one of the things that the question has been consistently bulleted to me is, Coach, how do you have such a successful training business slash coaching business and my social media following has to do a lot of what comes from me dedicating myself 110% to the people that follow. So with that being said, I had to just create bullet points for you guys. And before I get into that, before I get started, my name is Eric A. Bradley. For some of you who have never watched my channel, shame on you. Welcome. You've reached the school of boxing. And what we are doing is making sure that we give those who follow us the right information to not only develop skills or learn how to condition and eat properly, but how to monetize your career so that the next chapters of your life will be fruitful based solely upon what you are able to give the market. And at the same time, the fact that you actually had a process in which you followed to get there. So three things that I'm going to give you guys that I for sure you should take with you and utilize them to your best ability. There are no shortcuts to this thing. It will position you to do things you don't want to do in order to get paid in something that you love doing. How does that sound? Make sure before we get flowing that you take a second and click that little like button because the information I'm going to give you is worth that. YouTube acknowledges that. More of the videos that you want to see from me. I hear a lot of comments and questions about certain type training videos. Well, if you press the like button, what will happen is YouTube will acknowledge that and they will push those video out, videos out to those who watch and those who haven't and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because we give you a bevy of information technically in a format that you can see it in a practical format and in text. So I'm going to give you the three bullet points that I want you to jot down if you would like to improve your training brand, your business. So take this down. Success in this business model, you'll need to have three important things. One is content, preferably content that no one else has, at least in your area. What we possess over at um, Master Boxing, AKA the School of Boxing, is some of the most advanced teachings in the sport of boxing. And I'm also a nutrition specialist. So I've, over the past two decades, I've created and bevied a ton of amazing nutrition plan, learning a lot um, with putting these things together. But teaching the skill set of boxing, a lot of people come from the mixed martial arts world. So here we got the mixed martial arts school of boxing. It's a beautiful thing, but have content that not a lot of people have their hands on. And that will be one of the first things you have something proprietary within your network. The next thing you want to make sure you have is another person, which uh, uh, would be what we call the messenger, the person who speaks about what you do. Um, they go out and deliver any type information that you need to be delivered, and that will help you get the word out. And the third thing is an audience. So you have to take the time and build that social media following. If you don't, you won't have an audience outside of that classroom or that personal training session, whether you're training someone to fight or training someone to be fit. The key is making sure 
that you take the time to put the work in. So you'll need videos. You need every once in a while, set up the camera once or twice a week, maybe once a week, you shoot three different type videos. Um, if you're doing exercise, one legs, one upper body, one abdominal, one food tip. Keep it simple. Each one of those could be under a minute. So you can also segue it to Instagram. That's very important. Whether it's a boxing skill, whether it's one footwork regimen, punch logistics, and counter punch or a punch logistic technique. These are very important things. People want to follow something simple. Make sure you have simple content. And when you're doing your uploads into the social media platforms, keep your descriptions very simple. Basic footwork, punch logistics for beginners. You have to be specific. Remember that with that being said, we have a bevy of information, um, skills training. We have an entire school and now we have a second school online of boxing training. So if you are from the outside and you are not aware, you can reach out to us, go up to the website and connect with us. Try to stack up your content. And it's not just a bunch of stuff. It's organized, it's formatted, and you will be one of the providers of it. So that will help eliminate that and you can get right to work. And when people are our students and they go into what we call our champions bundle, what we do is kind of coach them up like videos like this, but on a consistent basis because we have a group. And now January 1st, we have the online portal class begins. And what they do is they get instructions on how to operate that day, but they have just a bevy of great information in books like this, but in PDFs online, nutrition, uh, methods and hitting the bag, punch mitts, footwork, sparring drills, counter punching, peekaboo style boxing, Philly shell style boxing, southpaw training, everything. With that being said, you understand why, <coughs> excuse me, why our following is where it is. YouTube's the lower, but we're concentrating on it now. The next thing you have to do after having that social media presence and you got to learn your hashtags. So keep um, the more simple hashtags. So what I'll do after this video is I'll copy and paste a ton of hashtags that you want to use whenever you're posting your videos and feel free to use those hashtags because they'll, they'll make a difference in your view or your views when you on Instagram and Facebook as well. Let's make sure we keep those things front and center. Then what we do with all of that, once you got those things intact, we create what we call the triangle offense. So just say, for instance, you have two friends. You have to have two friends, girl, guy, it doesn't matter. You need two friends that are into the same things that you are, fitness or boxing or whether you're an MMA fighter, it doesn't matter. Whatever you teach, whatever you're instructing, make sure you have that because you need people to reach out to. You need these three people. Let me explain them to you right here. The triangle offense consists of the point man. The point man is the person who provides the content. So in this case, it would be me. I'm going to provide the content, you know, so let's just put it in the terms of if it was uh, technology, I'd be um, Steve Jobs and I'd be providing or someone that's actually alive, Mark Zuckerberg, the engine of Facebook creator and uh, mastermind behind one of the most powerful entities ever created in any realm. So let's just keep that front and center. You can ask your point, man. Your ambassador is the person that spreads the word. He is the people that companies look forward to spread the word about their brand. He has a decent social media following already. 
He's very vocal, very strong minded and lives the lifestyle in which they're trying to pass along and allow you to know. So that's key. And your director is the person that navigates the events. So the events that will come of this are titled seminars and clinics. This is where you will retain the bevy of revenue streams in peak season and out of peak, peak season. Seminars, clinics, people like me show up at events like that. And this is where we exchange our social media brands, highlight them. We edify you in that realm to get people in the know. And that's what you call a pass off. You know, you're being edified by someone who's already at that level. So it's pretty much like if Ellen DeGeneres calls you up on a show and speaks to what it is you do, then you'll be in the building. All right. So let's just kind of keep that understanding what it truly means to be positioned to have someone co-sign on you. It's a big deal. That's your triangle offense. So one of you will have an event hosted in your place. That's why you have to have someone local. So I just spoke specifically to the people that are in under our realm at the School of Boxing online. And what we did is I made it clear that once you, you two guys get, uh, two of you guys get someone in a position where they need something hosted or you need some revenue stream coming in there, I'd come in speak the video content that's provided after and during that show those people's brands be noted right on our video content so therefore i'm doing a commercial for them that draws in people revenue stream starts to come in hand over foot that's key when you're building so the triangle offense is absolutely important seminars clinics and make sure that you have boot camps for the people to attend that will give them a very um just say they like the taste of something to look forward to that they're going to benefit from in a major way and they love to see when people pull together and they know that they're under the tutelage of a trifecta so it's easier to want to sign up that is powerful in that world and so i want you guys to take time and understand content first content that not many people have if you're looking for content and you already like two steps away it's a new year you reach out to us connect and look up into that champions bundle what that does is give you like a ton of the kind of content that they're looking for in every facet fitness fighting mma boxing it doesn't matter what area on the globe they're searching for it and that's why we have fed the market listen to the market it'll tell you what it's looking for and with that being said we took that information and we made sure that you have your messenger and your audience so the audience being your social media, you take the time to build your social media and your social social media will take time to build you up. So that's all I got for right now. I just want you to remember the one thing. Once you make the step to step into a place that invests in you and you invest back into it. The best thing that's going to come out of it is at the end game is wealth and you think about that and i hope this helps you out if it does make sure you subscribe for more insightful videos to help guide you trainers and coaches and fighters and people who who are simply thinking about becoming one of such so i hope that helped you out continue to press forward and what will happen is that glass will break and it will shatter and when it opens the floodgates will happen and so will your wealth until next time eric a bradley signing out be blessed at god's speed stay tuned because class is in session visit our website for more information peace